This is a 20 minute indoor walking workout that you're gonna love. The time is gonna fly by. I'm gonna be doing it with you in real time. And the first move is gonna include a little bit of a warm up. So if you're ready to start walking at home, let's get started. So all we're gonna do, first move, we're simply just gonna do this little side step. So just join in. We're just stepping from one side to the other. So how it's gonna to work today, every 30 seconds, we're gonna change your indoor walking exercise. And on the left, you can see the arrow going up. That represents approximately 30 seconds. And then obviously in the top right hand corner, you've got your countdown clock for this 20 minute low impact workout. So next move coming up, this one now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk forwards and just give me this little toe tap. So you walk forwards, toe tap. Nice simple move here. So this one we're working through that plane of motion which we call sagittal. So that's where we move forwards and backwards. So we're activating all those front muscles and also all the back muscles through the legs. Tapping that forwards and then back. Okay, so now we're going to take that 30 seconds and now we're going to work that plane of motion which is called lateral. So we're just going from side to side. And this is especially good for really helping to tone and strengthen through your inner and outer thighs. That's good, keeping that focus, doing that really well. All right, so next move coming up. Again, we're gonna do that one where we're gonna be traveling forwards, and this time we're just gonna go for doing a knee drive. So let's travel it forwards, knee drive, then you step it back and just keep alternating with the legs. And if you are on Facebook, then come and find Lucy Squad. Um, there is a Lucy Squad page as well as a Lucy Squad group. That's good, so just drive that knee up. And always, whenever we're doing anything like this, especially as you're taking that knee up, really focus on engaging through those core tummy muscles. All right, well done. So let's now go back to doing that side step. And if you've got the room at home, you could double up on this. So you could do two traveling side steps, just go from one side to the other. And you can make this a bit more challenging by taking the knees so you're bending a little bit deeper. So it's more like a little traveling side step squat. All right, next move coming up, we're gonna do some big, powerful arms. So let's get ready. Again, step it forwards for me and just give me those big circle arms. Tap that foot in front, reaching up. That's good, make those arms nice and big. And again, what I'm doing here, you can really move it around the room depending how much space you've got. Stepping that in front, big sunshine arms. All right, let's bring it straight back now, back to your lateral side step. So you can see the format of this workout today, really simple, every 30 seconds, we're changing the walking style, and then we're using this one as our sort of base walk today. And this one gives you that flexibility to really take that speed up if you want. So next move, this one, we're gonna be doing this more so we're staying on the spot, but we're just gonna do a little leg kick and just kick that leg in front. So this one here, really good to work through your core, plus we're also really activating through those front thigh muscles. And also, if you are on Instagram, then do come and find me at Lucy Windham Reid. What I like to do every Tuesday is always do an educational fitness and motivational live on my Instagram, and it gives my audience an opportunity if they've got any questions about health and fitness to ask. All right, so next move, let's go straight back to doing that lateral side tap. And again, keep it nice and low if you wanna work a little bit harder and equally, you can step those feet out wider as well. So next move coming up, this one, we are simply gonna go for super fast feet. All right, so let's have some fun with this, get ready and now take those feet as fast as you can for me. Go super, super fast. That's good. 
So again here, today's workout is what I refer to as a low impact, but it's also high intensity. So high intensity just means we're still really challenging your body. We're really working lots of muscle groups, but it just means we're taking out the high impact so there's no jumping. So next move coming up, you're gonna go back to doing that stepping in front and giving a kick. So we take that step in front to then just a kick. And when you're ready, add in those arms. Just imagine you're throwing something out to the side. And also something you'll have noticed today with this workout, we've got no, no rest periods other than you have got an opportunity to have a water break halfway through. Um, but the idea is today it's doing this 20 minute constant low impact cardio workout. So now let's take it back to a little side step. Just give me again a little bend through those knees if you want to make that a little bit harder. And a good thing to always think about when you're exercise, just think about all the benefits you're getting from this workout. All right, that's good. So next move now, we're gonna come back to now doing a basic march, but just give me a little power punch now. So just punch and just alternate from one arm to the other. Focus on keeping your upper body nice and straight for me. That's good. And you're aiming to keep those hands at chest height. So just put power behind each punch on there. keeping that focused and also you can really think about doing this with excellent posture keep that upper body nice and straight all right let's bring it straight back to that lateral side step so let's think of some of the benefits you are getting right now so you are going to be naturally increasing your metabolic rate we're going to be naturally toning up all the muscles and today we're working total body we're also increasing your energy levels we're boosting your heart health and this one also is amazing for your bone health as well so we're going to be strengthening through the bones so your next move, we're gonna do this lateral side step and double arm raise. So again, just going from side to side, but both arms extended and just swinging them up and down. That's good, keeping that focus, doing really well. And we're just stepping that foot slightly behind. And again, just both arms. So this one here is really going to help increase that heart rate because we're taking the arms above heart level. So now let's just go back again, tap that out, that fast little side step for me. So as you know, because as your trainer, what I love to do, and I think so important, is to really educate you. The more you understand how your body works, the more motivated you are. So anything when you're traveling sideways is called a lateral move. So this is that lateral side step. And you can see your next move coming up now is going to be a lateral move again. We're doing two side steps and pushing the arms up. So let's get ready. Take it across for two and now push those arms up. And it's really important to remember walking is the key exercise for improved health. One of the most natural exercises we could do. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. That's good. Pushing those arms up. Traveling that from side to side. And by adding in this arm move makes that exercise a little bit more challenging. So now let's bring it straight back. And just take it to that lateral side step. And here, just think about now and tell me out loud what joints you think you are working right now. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to have a quick think. Then I'm going to tell you. So you're working your ankle, your knee, your hip, your elbow, and your shoulder joints on that move. All right, let's now take it to a little side. So you're gonna to march to the side of the room and just give me that knee lift. Drive that knee up and focus on keeping the core tight. And again, think about all those joints that you're using here, especially we're really mobilizing through that hip joint. And the great thing is, whenever we're doing exercise, we're looking after our joint health. We're helping what's known as synovial fluids. So we're helping to increase that. And that really helps to keep your joints healthy. So next move, take it straight back to the lateral side step. 
And remember with this one, you can take that as fast as you want. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, you can just and add in that little bit more of a bend through the legs. That's good, doing really well. So you can see here now we're nearly halfway through today's workout. So for your next move coming up, we're gonna be marching on the spot and we're just gonna do these rolling arms. So this is a fun one, let's just get ready. So keep that upper body nice and straight for me. Keep those feet marching and just start rolling those arms around each other. If you want to make it harder, you can travel those arms up. Now at 9.28, to be precisely, I'm going to give you an option to have a water break. If you want to take longer and have a little bit of a rest, then simply hit that pause button. All right, so if you want longer, hit pause. Or if you want to carry on, we're going to go straight back now to that side step. So let's just keep going from one side to the other. All right, that's good. So again, just fast little lateral side steps, moving through the arms as well. So next move coming up, we're gonna go straight back to doing those fast marches and this time we're gonna do some power punches. So let's have some fun with this one and let's bring it back. Fast feet for me now and now give me power punches as fast as you can. So just feel how you're really working through your arms. You're also gonna naturally be really engaging your core here, your abdominals, because they're working really hard to help stabilize your upper body as you're punching those arms. Keeping those feet moving. That's good. And now that's just take that, that was Princess Sultana meowing. And now let's just go from one side to the other. Okay, that's good. Keeping that going. So again, let's think of some more benefits. So when we exercise, we help to increase your circulation. So this is where it's really good for your skin as well. Exercise is one of the best ways that we can look after skin health. So instead of having to wear expensive creams, instead just keep moving your body. It's amazing for your skin health. Next move coming up, we're just gonna do these knee taps. So driving the knees up, swing through with the arms. Also keep that upper body nice and straight as well. That's good. Double arms. And of course the other great thing when we exercise, we're more likely to make better food choices, healthier food choices. We sleep better, we drink more water. So everything leads from one healthy habit to another. So next move coming up, we're just gonna go straight back to now doing that lateral side step. And if you want, you could just do it. If you prefer doing those punching arms, you could just march on the spot and punch those arms really fast in front. All right, that's good. Keeping that focused. Doing really well. So next move coming up, let's travel this around the room. So we're doing a little bit of a knee bend, tapping the foot behind, and we're just gonna add in some big circling arms. And just move around the room, make the most of the space that you've got. Add that bend through the knees, big sunshine arms. And again, so you can do the lateral side step, or if you want to, for your next move, again, you could add it if you like doing those fast feet and punching. All right, let's just keep going. The key thing is with this 20 minute workout today, you've done 20 minutes non-stop cardio walking at home. All right, that's good, keeping that focused. So next move, we're gonna have some fun with this. We are going to climb a ladder for 30 seconds. And of course, we're gonna get right to the top. So for this, just imagine now, you've got a ladder in front of you and we're just gonna keep climbing all the way to the top. So with this one here, what's really good is it's one, it's excellent to really work cardio. We're really challenging your um cardiovascular health here so we're making your heart stronger it's also really amazing for your arms your shoulders plus through your abs through your core legs and glutes and just keep going all the way to the top 
that's good just imagine we've got that ladder there and we've reached the top let's bring it straight back now to that lateral move for me side to side and just keep that little bend through the knees that's good So next move coming up, we're going to go back to doing a lateral move and then we're going to go for doing a side leg kick. So we're going to travel that across and then give me a kick. So you just travel it across and then a kick. And kick that leg in front. So you can see today it has been a total body workout as well because we've worked through the arms, we've worked through the legs, we've worked through the core. And as I said, it's been low impact, but still what I refer to as your high intensity exercise. All right, so bring it back now. So back to that lateral sidestep, or if you want to, remember you could just do those punching arms, just fast marching on the spot. The aim is it's just 20 minutes of getting that step count up at home. Bend through those knees slightly. So for your next move, we're going to this time, we're gonna tap the foot slightly behind, but we're gonna push both arms in front. So let's tap that foot behind, both arms in front. So this one here, really good for working a bit more through your chest, through your upper back, also really good for the back of the upper arms. And that's good, keeping that going. And then we'll take it to your next move, which is gonna be that lateral side step. So you can see we've nearly finished today's workout. Let's just keep going to the end, straight back to that side step. So again, remember what we refer to, anything when we're doing stuff sideways is always a lateral plane of motion. It's really important that we focus on using the body in the three different planes of motion, which is lateral, sideways, rotational and forwards. Okay, so let's get ready for your next move now. We're going to tap one foot across when you're ready. Just add in those arms for me. Swing those arms over. Tap that foot out. That's good. So this one here, you'll really feel this working through the waist. This is a really lovely move. Actually, I use that one quite a lot in my standing ab workouts. All right, so let's keep that going. And now bring it straight back. Let's have fun now with these last few moves. So let's really take that speed up. Doing really well. Okay, so next move coming up, we're gonna work your brain now. This is a really good mind-body connection. So we're gonna do punches where we're gonna get ready. So you're gonna march and I want you to punch in front for me. Now punch out and now punch up. In front, out, up. In front, out, up. So just keep going. So the benefit of this, this is incredible to really get your mind focused on what your muscles are doing and that connection. So this is really, really good for our brain health as well. All right, that's good. So in front, up, out, keeping that going, keep that sequence going, doing really well. All right, let's bring it straight back now, back to that lateral side step. So last little bit coming up, let's just keep going to the end. And again, just travel that round the room. And if you do enjoy indoor walking, I have created um, my 30 exercise indoor walking cards so you can create your own workout with these. So it's a really fun way of doing a quick indoor walking workout. So this here, give me a heel dig in front and then you're just gonna step that arm out or just swing that arm out to the side. That's good. And just open up wide and that's a really lovely um, chest stretch as well this exercise. Let's keep that going. 
All right, that's good. So we've nearly, nearly finished. So let's just keep going right to the end, last little bit. And we're gonna finish off with just taking that now to that little side step, lateral side step. Let's just keep going. And you can slowly start to bring your heart rate back down a little bit now. So slow that speed down. And what is really important today is that we're gonna do some nice stretches because we've done 20 minutes now. It's important we realign those muscles. So just march that out, really slowing that pace right down. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with just doing a stretch now for your calf muscles. So step one foot behind, hands are on that bent leg and you just feel that stretch through the calf muscle. Lean into that leg slightly. So we're really activating that stretch. And now let's come up to standing, take that back to the opposite leg. And if you want longer on any of these stretches, simply hit that pause button. Just feel that through the back of the lower leg. Okay, let's come up to standing and now we're gonna stretch the hamstring. So have one leg bent and the other leg extended, heel, toes are up, hands are always on that bent leg. Feel that stretch through the hamstring. And now let's come up and take that to the other side. And again, just feel that stretch through the back of the upper thigh. And then coming up to standing. So now we're just doing that quadricep stretch, supporting knees slightly bent. Feel that stretch through the front of the thigh. Keep that upper body nice and tall. And then let's take that to the other side. And again, if you want any more information about any of my indoor walking workout cards or my outdoor audio ones or any of the products, you can simply click up there. Just feel that stretch now through the top of the upper back. And now bring those arms behind and just feel that stretch now through your chest. So well done, there is your high five. And just remember what you and I have just done is we have simply just invested in your future health. So well done and I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.